Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Toggle Track. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Toggle Track here? Well, in this case, for you to start using Toggle Track, we need to set up a few things. So that includes going to the official website and setting up our account. So in this case, go to the official website, which is going to be toggle.com. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to first brew, view the pricing for Toggle Track here since we want to first uh, to learn more uh, what we are getting into. So when we go to the pricing page here, you see different pricing that you could choose. We have Starter, Premium, and Enterprise. Now depending on the plan that you'll be getting here, you'll be able to leverage a few features that you could access. Like for example, for the Starter uh, pack here, which is around $9 per month, you have everything for free here, Blue rates, time rounding for reports, and a lot more. Now, if you get the premium plan, you'll get more features. Now, the great thing about Toggle Track here is you could actually use the platform for free. So, meaning you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything to start using the platform. So that includes unlimited time tracking, unlimited clients tags, exportable reports, web app and mobile apps and desktop apps here, and a lot more. So in this case, let's go and use the free plan here. Let's go and click on get started. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to fill out some details. That includes our email. But if you already have the Google account or an Apple account, you can go ahead and choose the appropriate option. So in my case, I want to use my Google account. Let's go and choose that. And from here, let's go and choose our email. And from here, let's go and click on continue to create our account. So it's going to start processing our account. So in this case, let's go and click on continue to toggle track. Now, it should load up our dashboard as you can see right now. So there are going to be different sections that you could access and different features here that you could access. So in this case, let's first get uh, go, go ahead and set up our account. So in this case, you could go ahead and answer yes here if you want to get the full experience here, which in this case, you have a 30 day free uh, trial of their premium plan. But for now, let's go to basics fine for now. And we want to say this is for personal use and you could add your own project here. But for now, let's go and skip this one. And you could also connect your Google calendars or Microsoft Outlook here. But let's go and click on no thanks for now. Now, in this case, uh, this is the first thing that you'll see here once you've created your account. So let's first discuss the different tabs that we could access here. So the most important tag that we could access is going to be the timer, which in this case allows us to start uh, working or start uh, setting a time or timing our work, which is something really great, especially if you want to keep track of what you are doing. But in this case, before we actually start tracking our time here, we first want to go ahead and go to the manage section at the left panel here. Now, in this case, uh, the first thing you want to do here is we first need to view our workspace. So when you create your account here, by default, you'll have your own workspace. But you could create your workspace here if you want. So in this case, let's go, you could go and click on manage workspace. And from here, you could basically see the workspace details itself and the members for this member uh, specific uh, workspace. Now, you could also see the membership here as well if someone actually uh, join your workspace. But yeah, so if you want to see your members here, but specifically, you could go into members. You have our groups here if you want to uh, basically group different people. Like for example, you have your admin, you have creatives, you have developers. So you could basically group them together. Now, we have settings here, which in this case allows you to control what is currently happening to your organization, your subscription if you want to uh, basically use the premium plan or try the premium plan here, and also audit log. So in this case, this feature is actually a premium feature, so we don't, want, uh, we don't have uh, much access to this one. But yeah, so if you want to manage your organization, this is how you exactly do it. So in this case, you have organization. So if you want to create a new one, like you could go and create a new organization, create a new name. So for example, let's just say there's going to be a test organization. Let's go and click on continue. And in this case, you could go and start inviting people. Let's go and click on I'll invite them later. So this will create a new organization for us, which in this case, as you can see right now, we have our organization here, which in this case, we have a different workspaces that we can access. So uh, in this case, let's go ahead and maybe use the test organization we have and go to our default workspace. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do next is, again, like what I said before, let's go and access first the manage tab at the left panel here. So 
this case, the first thing you want to do here is you first want to create or start creating your projects. So, uh, by the way, you could either start with projects or client here, depending on what you want. So, let's go and click on create project and we want to go and proceed and start creating your project. So, maybe I want to say this is going to be a test project. So let's change the text here. And from here, you could go ahead and set this if it's actually uh, private, so visible only to project members, or if you want to use advanced options here, which in this case, you could add the client, the time frame here for a specific project, if it, the project is occurring, the time estimate for this one. So there are going to be a lot of settings or a lot of uh, details that you fill out in here. Now, if you want uh, to add billing here, you could go ahead and click on billing to enable billing here. And basically, you could either choose for the default hourly rate or custom project hourly rate, which in this case, you could basically uh, indicate how much uh, your hourly rate here. Also, you have our default workspace here, which in this case allows you to choose your workspace. Now, in this case, uh, let's go ahead and go back in here. Let's go ahead and go to advanced options. Let's go ahead and click on create project. Now, we now have our first project. Now, there are going to be different ways to view your projects here. So we have our filter. So for example, if you want to view the current projects like upcoming projects, active and ended, or archive projects, you would go ahead and do that. Now, you could also filter your projects via client, filter them by members. If you have like members assigned to a specific project, you could filter them in here. You could uh, basically filter them by billable, like what we saw before. We could either set this to billable or not. And we also have our project name here if you want to search for a specific project name and if you want to use a specific template here this allows you to create similar projects the same setting so so in this case you can go ahead and click on project uses template but yeah so let's go ahead and start creating our client let's go to clients let's go and click and create a client and maybe i want to say this is going to be a test client now obviously you could add uh, your uh whatever name that you want to use for this one so whatever client name you have so in this case, we have our first client. Now, if you want to edit your client, you can go and click on G, the tree dot option here, click on edit, and it allows you to edit the name of the client. Now, if you want to go to projects, by the way, if you want to edit that same thing, you want to go to the tree dot option here, you could either edit the project, add members, view reports for this project, view analytics, or if even archive this or use this as a template or even delete it if you want. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to start adding members. So let's go and click on invite members. Now, inviting members here allows you to collaborate or add your teammates into a specific project. So this allows them to also track their time on a uh, on a single project. So they don't have to uh, they don't they won't have to use another tool to show the to the client that hey we worked this hour. So it uh, the whole uh, time tracking thing or the time tracking process can be in one project here on your organization, which is something really cool. So let's go and invite someone here that I have. Let's go invite our email here. Click on invite. But in this case, we, we want to also choose the access. So if you want to give them admin access, you go and click on work, uh, workspace admin. So this access allows them to give you access to all data in the workspace. Team lead can view but not edit. So most data in the workspace. Project lead can create public projects and edit client projects and tasks and tags. And workspace users can only track time. So let's go and just choose workspace, uh, workspace user. Click on invite. Now, it will send an invite to them, and usually they need to accept that via email in order for them to access the actual board or project that we just recently created. Now, we have our billable rates here. Now, billable rates allows us to uh, basically set our rates. So, in this case, we have our billing here, so workspace rate. So, you could basically specify what's your hourly rate here. So, maybe my hourly rate is going to be, this is just an example, it's just $15 minimum here. And from here, let's go and click on change rate starting today. And you can also set the currency here as well. But by default, this is going to be USD. Now, if you want to see the workspace member rate and labor cost here, so whatever rate that you have, you should be able to see them as well in here. Because again, I have admin access. I can view the rates of my team members. Now, if you want to do a few, a few other things here, we have general. So by the way, this is the settings page. Now, uh, let's go and discuss this later on, but I'll be showing it uh, to you. Now, second is we have, or next here is we have invoices. Now, invoices is great for you to uh, basically uh, ch start charging your clients. So in this case, you first need to track your time, then create an invoice and send them that invoice or even edit the invoice just in case uh, there are going to be some edits not needed.
Now, you could also add tags to your uh, time tracking or your time entries, which in this case is a great way for you to categorize what specific tasks you did, what specific, uh, that specific time, what uh, what did you do in that specific time. So you could go and click on create tag here. So maybe I just say uh, tutorial. Let's go and add this one, click on create. So we now have a tutorial tag here. Now, cool here next is we now have a option to start adding our goals. So in this case, this allows you to uh, basically uh, be reminded, hey, well, this is your goal. You can go and start tracking uh, your goals here. And basically, hopefully, get it, uh, achieving that specific goal. So currently, this is still in beta. So if you want to start using it, you could go ahead and you can even add like uh, a specific emoji for it. And the goal name, the, uh, the following... Uh, uh, hours that you need to spend on the specific goal and until that specific date. So in this case, if you wanna uh, don't, don't want this to end, you go and click on no end date and basically start creating your goal. Now, next is we have integration. So integration is a good way for you to integrate different uh, type of apps into your workspace. So that includes uh, integrating Google Calendar, iCalendar, or Outlook Calendar here. So in this case, it will actually sync your accounts. So like for example, whatever data you have here will be synced into your Google Calendar if you've integrated it. Now, also we have our uh, options, other options here like mobile app and desktop app if you want to install those. Next is we have our settings. So like what I said before, uh, this uh, settings already is, uh, talks about or allows you to change general settings about your account. For example, uh, who are the team, the team member writes here. So you can specify how they can re react or act on your specific workspace. Like for example, uh, who can see team activity, uh, everyone or admins only. So yeah. Also, you have alerts here and reminders if you want to view them. So if there are any reminders here, we we'll have billable rates like what we saw before. And we also have uh, our CSV import. So if you want to select a CSV to upload, uh, in this case, you want to import your data into a CSV. So that includes importing users, time entries, projects, or clients. So depending on what you want. Now, if you want to export data, you could choose data export and select either projects, project members. We also have single sign-on if you want to utilize this one, which allows you to easily sign on into your workspace here without doing much. Also, if we want to view some activities and audits uh, regarding, like, for example, what, how current, what happened to your uh, workspace here, like, we just created a tutorial tag, a client, and added the following users. Let's go to our timer. So how do we start timing ourselves here? Well, the generally speaking, you just need to add whatever you want. So maybe I want to say this is for a test project, and we want to add a tag. So this is for a tutorial tag. And from here, we could go ahead and basically start timing ourselves. So it's going to be, it's now timing me. The timer is working at the very top right here. As you can see, this is the duration. You can even edit it just in case there are going to be some uh, mistakes that you need. But yeah, so you could go to more action as well if you want to delete the current recording here. But once you're done, what you need to do, let's go and add some description here. So maybe this is going to be uh, some tutorial. And let's go ahead and describe that. And from here, let's go and stop this one. And as you can see, we have our test project here, like what we just did. And currently, uh, that's what we currently uh, done on this moment. So as you can see right now, when we go to our, our calendar here, as you can see, we can go ahead and view our current test. Which in this case, we did some tutorial here, added the tag for it and the project for it. So if you want to save this one, you could go and click on save. But if you want to continue it, you can go and click and continue time entry. And it will start continuing that specific test on that specific time. But for now, let's go ahead and close this one, stop time entry. And let's go ahead and click on save to save our entry here. And yeah. By the way, you can view this in a different format. So if you want to view this in list view, and just see the general tasks, what uh, what currently happened right now. This is what uh, it will actually look like. But if you want to view it in calendar, this is what it actually looks like. So in this case, uh, those are the basics here on how to use Toggle. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.